Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I want to actually set up how to do the uh, templates directory uh, and handle templates from within Django. So it's it's important if you followed along in the previous two videos, like we don't have any templates in our project here. So I'm actually going to create a folder inside the, the main directory, which I'm going to call templates. And this I want to sit inside. Of, yeah, that. No, I don't. I want that to be in the same folder as uh, as manage. So inside this templates directory, we're going to create our first uh, index.html template. Uh, this is just going to be standard HTML. So if we go to like W3CHTML, this is like a basic tutorial, but we can just grab this, uh, this HTML markup. And we're going to paste it in here. All right, there we go. I wonder if I can do control F. No, I can't do that. Control forward slash. No, that, that comments. Uh, how to uh, fix indentation visual studio code or it's called formatting so on windows shift alt f so that's actually something that's nice shift alt f and that didn't work shift f alt f shift alt oh there it goes all right so now we got some decent formatting going on with our html there that's good all right all right, so let's pull up the settings file so that we can update our templates directory. All right, so inside this uh, this templates directory here, this is where it actually says, hey, um, we're using the Django templates and then anything inside the directory, it's going to by default look inside of those directories to see whether or not it can find um, the directory we're looking for. So in my case, I want to go ahead, I'm gonna reveal this and explore and I'm gonna copy this entire thing and I'm gonna go like this. But I need to change these forward slash, uh, these backslashes to a forward slash. So we're just telling it to go all the way here and go into the templates folder that we just created. So that way, you know, Django will know to look inside there. All right. So in order to actually have Django navigate to this uh, this new template that we've created called index, I need to go to my URLs.py and we're going to add our first argument here. And what this is, it's a regular expression, which is beyond the scope of this tutorial here. But uh, we're using a caret sign, which is this first symbol, and a dollar sign. Caret sign means start at, dollar sign means end at, and then we have this uh, forward slash, and that simply says match nothing. And I know that's weird, but basically when we don't ha uh, have an argument there, we want our, our home page to be displayed, basically the default page. Uh, so that's why we do that shorthand. Now we're going to say from dot, which means import uh, for, from what, you know, the root directory, import views. So we're importing our views file, which we haven't created yet, but we're going to do that in a moment. Uh, and now we're going to use our views. So we're going to say views.index. All right, and I need to make sure that there's a comma here because this is a Python list of arguments. If you guys want to learn more about the Python language, I have a popular uh, Python tutorial series on hipster code. Uh, it's gotten quite a lot of views, actually. Uh, if you look at my Python for beginners tutorial here, uh, lots of different tutorials here of getting set up with Python 3 syntax. So. Uh, pretty much everything you need to deal with there is, is, is there for you. There. So if you check that out. Um, all right, so now inside this uh, views.index, things look fine there. Uh, so what we need to do is go over and create an actual views file. So I'm going to say new views.py. Now inside here, uh, this is where we're going to have to write some code in order to be able to handle it. Because what we've done is we've said when nothing gets matched, default to views.index. So we're going to create our define index method. It's going to take in a request object. Uh, every Django view phone, uh, method takes in a uh, request object. And that's actually, it'll have information on like the request, the IP of the person that's requesting uh, the, the page uh, and everything. Uh, it'll have like the headers that get set uh, and sent and everything like that. So uh, that's the reason why we have that. And it's just part of Django's core architecture. Uh, in fact, it's really a part of any sort of model view controller or web stack uh, server, even Node and uh, Express and things like that have that as well. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, I want to import a helper that, that we have from uh, Django. It's, it's from Django Shortcuts, and we're going to say uh, import render. So render, 
uh, is just a shorthand way of basically saying, hey, we're gonna return a template. So we're gonna say return, render, and then inside of this, we're gonna pass back the request object. The second argument is actually going to be our index.html. It's gonna be the, the template name that we wanna pass back. So in this case, uh, that's really all we want. So we're using render right here, uh, and then index. All right, so there we go. All right, so if everything works well, and we go back to our uh, main page here, not that one. I'm gonna say npm, or not npm, uh, manage.py run server. All right, so this will fire the server back up. And now let's go over to our localhost 8000. And now we're actually getting a template uh, page not found. So it knows that we're, we're looking for this page and, and it, it actually can't find it. So that is a problem. All right, so let's take a look at our URLs because it's pretty much telling us, and you can see right here we have a typo. I actually just wanted the caret sign and the dollar sign, not that forward slash. So if I get rid of that, I don't have to restart the server. If it's still running, then you can just refresh, and you can see we now have a template actually rendering from our Django project, so that's pretty sweet. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Also, check out Hipster Code and my Chris Hawks tutorials, uh, Chris Hawks programming channel for more tutorials and more pro programmer talk and things like that. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, so a lot of you ask me, how do I get my foot in the door to become a programmer? And I just want to take a moment to mention Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp is a 12-week intensive course that focuses on the technologies of the here and now for web development. Uh, some of the things that they're actually teaching in this 12-week course, it's geared to get you into the, the industry by focusing on things like jQuery, Node.js, React, Angular, how to use GitHub. So a lot of the things that you're going to need to do as a developer, as soon as you start, they're going to be teaching you in this, in this coding boot camp. And the entire goal is to be able to get you into the industry within 12 weeks. So if you guys are interested in learning more information about Dev Mountain Coding Boot Camp, just check out the link in the description tab of this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.